doing here? How'd you get here? Did you crawl in from outside? Oh, you look like you got something stuck on your leg. You okay? Yeah? Oh. You're so cute. What happened to you? How'd you end up here? Oh, poor thing. Well, listen, I'm almost done cleaning, so why don't you just hang out here? You're already hanging out, and I will look at you in a minute, okay? Can you hold on for one more minute? Yeah, you look at you, okay? There's something on your leg. You're so hard to... It's really, honestly, it's a little hard to tell. You're so little. Yeah, here, I'm gonna sit you back down, okay? And I want you to just relax. Try not to stress out. No one's gonna hurt you. I won't hurt you, I promise. I know I'm, I'm really big, but I don't want to scare you. I'm not gonna hurt you. Yeah. No, we don't discriminate here. No. Okay, so you just hang out right here, okay? Yeah, I'm just cleaning. You're looking at the toys. I mean, you're small enough, right? You could totally fit on some of these. Was that why you ended up inside my house? You wanted to ride the toys? Yeah, there's like tons of that around here. That's what happens when you have a toddler. <laughs> yeah, let me just see. I wonder if there's anything big enough for you to hide. Yeah. There totally is. This would totally fit you. Do you want to try it? Yeah. Ready? <laughs> that is too funny. Yeah, I've never met a little that's little enough to fit on the toy car. No, I'm really, I'm, I'm really, honestly, I'm really not trying to make you uncomfortable. I think that's actually really fun. I've always had a thing for littles. Yeah, like, I'm not trying to make it weird. I mean, if you think it's weird. Then I would flirt with a little. Yeah, I wouldn't, I would, I'm not trying to make it super weird. I just think it's really fun. Do you want to do it again? Okay, ready? <laughs> I fell out again. <laughs> No, don't worry. We can play something else. I'm pretty much done cleaning anyway, so we might as well just go upstairs. Don't get any weird ideas. My desk is upstairs, and I have all my medical supplies up there. Plus, I need to be able to use, like, some finer tools for you because you're, like I said, you're really little. Not that you already, not that you already didn't know that. <laughs> okay. Let me see. Let me just look at you up close. Yeah, you're, I really don't see, I really don't see any big issues, but, you know, we're just going to err on the side of caution and, like, check you out a little bit in more detail. And then I have to get ready for bed soon, so I have, like, a really big day tomorrow, so, like, if you want to stick around, that's totally fine. I mean, you're injured, so I'm not going to try and kick you out into the street, so, does that sound okay? Yeah, well, you caught me in my own house, so I'm obviously not done up. You like the, the disheveled look? Well, good. That's what you're getting today. <laughs> okay. Yeah, let's go upstairs. Okay. Let's go. Yeah, I'm just going to keep holding you in my arms because I don't want you to get more hurt. So, just got to be extra careful. Okay. So, I just want to look at you a little bit more. Can I look at you close? That's okay. Um, okay, let's see. 
Mm. I want to use like a makeup brush or something like that because I think it's small enough that like it won't really bother you. Okay. So let's try it out. Okay. How does that feel? Okay. I'm like tapping. It's hard to like, it's hard to tell if that's like your... Okay. That does feel like your leg. Okay. I'm trying it. Try and keep yourself like really, really rigid so I can like feel if there's anything break breakage wise. No, you feel okay. You feel pretty good, actually. I'm gonna be honest with you. I actually think that this is really attractive. Maybe because I'm considered so short that like I like seeing somebody that's smaller than me. I just you know. Like, I feel like you probably deal with a lot of discrimination, right? I mean, I'm a small white girl. And yeah, I get a lot of that, like, especially because I work in, like, a really tough industry that's mostly dominated by, like, older men, like, in construction and stuff. So, I guess they think that I'm just the help in the office. They don't know that I'm one of the bigger talking heads. And that's okay. You like good surprises. I bet there's a lot about you that would surprise people, right? Yeah, I bet there's a ton about you that nobody knows. Would I be lucky enough to know? Would you tell me? Would you tell me? Whoa. <laughs> you? That's a surprise. You never said anything about smelling delicious. What is that? Oh, that smells so good. What is that? <sighs> I feel like it's a pheromone. Is it a pheromone? Like, are you being really serious right now? I can't even think straight. You smell so good. Do you taste as good as you smell? Do you? <laughs> Can I try you? Like, would you let me? Well, if you taste like you smell, I think I would enjoy it immensely. Mm. Yeah. I still have to get ready for bed, so if you don't mind me like undressing a little bit and getting ready for bed, and then I can like taste you a little bit, I'll make sure that you're all set up and situated for like a comfy night, and then tomorrow you can try and go back home, but I'll take care of you tonight and uh, let you stay here, let you board here in exchange for letting me get a little taste. Of course, only if it's purely consensual and, you know, I'll keep the mess to a minimum. Okay? Okay, great. Yeah, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna take this off and get a little bit more comfortable first, okay? Okay. Yes, sounds good. <laughs>